Verizon is out with a brand new 5G mobile hotspot device, the Orbic Speed X5G. This is now five different 5G mobile hotspots as Verizon is currently selling. What makes this one different? We'll have the details after the break. Hi, I'm Eddie with Mobile Internet Resource Center and Verizon is out with a new 5G mobile hotspot device, the Orbic Speed X5G. This is the second Orbic hotspot that is currently available uh, with Verizon, the other one being the Or Orbic Speed 5G UW. Some of these names for the uh, for mobile hotspots can be a bit of a mouthful. But the older Orbic Speed, the 5G UW, uh, uses an older modem. This one uses a newer Qualcomm X62 modem. Now, when a new mobile hotspot comes out, we tend to get pretty excited because we like to hear about new 5G technology. However, with this mobile hotspot, it is pretty middle of the road and is more focused on providing value. As noted before, it does have the a uh, current generation Qualcomm X62 modem, which is a good modem, very commonly used today in a variety of mobile internet gear. And it does have a good support for Verizon's network. And uh, it is very future-proof uh, going forward in terms of its capabilities. Now for the Wi-Fi for this device, it does come with Wi-Fi 6, which again is not surprising. It's kind of a uh, standard for modern devices in 2024. And uh, it does have uh, two wired uh, connectivity options. There is a gigabit Ethernet out port, which is very handy to have to connect uh, the device via wire um, to uh, devices that may not support USB tethering, such as routers. Uh, it has a USB-C port that is for USB tethering, as well as charging the device. And additionally, the battery inside the mobile hotspot can be used to charge other devices with that same USB port. Uh, of note, this device does not have any external antenna ports. Um, external antenna ports are a pretty rare feature in mobile hotspot devices, especially 5G mobile hotspot devices. So it's not a surprise that we don't see them here. Uh, the firmware and the rest of the uh, features of this uh, hotspot are very typical for what you would see with a Verizon hotspot. Now, really the most attractive part of this hotspot is the price at $199. It is significantly cheaper than a lot of the other mobile hotspots that Verizon is currently selling. As we noted in the intro, this is now the fifth uh, mobile hotspot that Verizon currently has on sale for 5G mobile hotspots, that is. You add the LTE only ones in and there's more. But focusing on 5G hotspots, there's five currently for sale. Uh, we'll have them listed here on a card for you. And uh, it's a very unusual mishmash of mobile hotspots going all the way back to one that was released in uh, 2020, which is the Insego M2100. That is not one we recommend. And it is also the most expensive hotspot in Verizon's lineup, which is unusual for a device that we basically consider obsolete at this point. Uh, there is another X62 option from TCL, but uh, this Orbic uh, model is cheaper than that. Uh, Verizon's flagship mobile hotspot is still the Insego M3100, and uh, that one is $349, so it's a $150 uh, price increase if you want to get to the flagship model, which uses the X65 modem which is the big brother of the X62 in this Orbic. Um, you'll need to decide for yourself whether the additional features and the uh, performance increase or the potential performance increase for the uh, X65 model from Insego is worth it. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about this mobile hotspot or opinions about Verizon's uh, mobile hotspot lineup, uh, you can leave a comment below. And additionally, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. And we also have a companion written article that goes uh, along with this mobile hotspot. And we do have uh, member-only content in that article for our members because it is our members who fund everything we do here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And we really couldn't do any of this without them. 
Our website has a lot of free information, so we go, we would encourage you to go check that out. And if you're interested in going deeper into mobile internet, uh, then uh, check out our membership program. Uh, link is in the description below. So thanks for watching, stay connected, and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.